How did you find out someone had a crush on you? I was giving him a ride home from a work function and he jokingly brought up that our boss had mentioned the policy on co-workers dating because we came to the event together but he thought he didn't have a chance in hell with me, his words, so that policy didn't matter. Well I also had a crush on him so it mattered very much lmfao. We're married now. That's kinda cute smile. A girl from one of my courses asked me if I wanted to bake cookies with her. I, a professional dumbass, was like sure I like cookies. A friend informed me that I had just agreed to a date. It was okay. The cookies were pretty good. That's adorable. She left her phone number on my car windshield randomly. My wife didn't find it very amusing. This is how I met my wife. She was a bold one. They waited until they no longer had a crush on me and then told me that they used to have a crush on me. Sometimes people just say that to cover for the fact that they still have a crush on you. Yes, but also some people legit wait until it is too late and then confess now that there feels like no risk on their part. When I added her as friend on Facebook, her first message was finally. Damn, I would like someone with that enthusiasm. Narek 7 you finally commented. She sent me an email with pornographic photos with our heads pasted on them. She had been an internet friend that I had no romantic interest in and never flirted with. She never flirted with me either so far as I could tell. We had talked for about three years, almost daily, but always platonic stuff. She was quite a bit older than me and while I never told her this I looked at her more like a fun aunt. I got a girlfriend and when I told my friend about it she absolutely flipped out. Cussed me up one side and down the other. Told me I had broken her heart. On and on and on. I was stunned. I apologized and told her I had just seen us as friends and hadn't meant to make her think it was anything more than that. That's when the porn photos started showing up. And creepy this could have been us messages. I blocked her on everything, which was like two things because this was 20 years ago. About a year ago I got curious and looked up her name. She ran for and won a small government position in her hometown about three years back. Found some newspaper articles and discovered a few things. 1. She had been married for 30 years, she had claimed to be single when we talked. 2. I had been 19 when we started talking. She had claimed to be 30. She had actually been 42. 3. She had kids that are older than me. Oh, so this is the kind of person I was warned about when using the internet in the early 2000s. Had I only known that thirsty cougars were the biggest threat all along. Till the single MILFs are in your area and DTF. The day after she went back to France, after being here for 8 months, my co-worker was like well now that she is gone, I can tell you she had a massive crush on you. Still devastated to this day I never picked up on it. She offered to carry my jacket to the next class when I had to stop at the bathroom. Went to the next class and it was placed on the chair next to her and her best friend said your boyfriend is here. I was young and shy. Did nothing. Regretted it she was amazing. I was honestly just happy being her friend. I opened my high school yearbook for my sophomore year and found a message from a friend that we should hang out together and included her phone number. I only found it 18 years later and I feel horrible that I didn't see it because it probably made me look like an ass and hurt her feelings. It was weird, I asked her out and she said she was a lesbian and I was crushed but I respected it. Found out later from a mutual friend that she was lying, actually liked me too and she quote said it wasn't in the plan for me to ask her yet the mutual friend essentially said, dodge that bullet, while well you still have a chance. Edit, for those who have been asking, this was in first year of university, I saw her around campus fairly regularly after that and she never approached me about it, and the mutual friend had a massive falling out with her for some reason or another and then we grew apart as the years went on, very anticlimactic I know but what are you going to do? Edit 2, my problem with it was indeed the lying right from the start, no matter what plan she had. I did question said mutual friend to give her the benefit of the doubt regarding her sexuality, it can be complicated but they were very insistent and I had no reason to doubt the mutual as they had never lied to me before, or after. I realized she sent me nudes because she wanted me to see her naked, not because she wanted to discuss photography. I found this out 15 years later. Edit, I had it confirmed when we were speaking about our friendship. She literally stopped me as I was passing by with my friends asked me if I remember us looking at each other at McDonald's. I need to know the whole story, what did you say? Ma'am, this is a Wendy's. She called me and asked why I had never asked her out on a date. 
She knew I was interested because I had told some friends that I was and they had told her. The reason I hadn't is because her brother and I were friends before I met her. When she called I told her it'd be thrilled to take her out but I wanted to make sure it was cool with her brother first. He was cool with it and we've been together 18 years now. Dating a friend's sister could've turned out bad though tbh. The old asking her brother if it's okay to bang his sister. It was an awkward conversation for sure. He said he didn't care if I took her out, just to treat her right. Is that why you're now called 1980 Raw Dog Bushwanker PZX? She was a colleague who had heard I was leaving town, I wasn't, only going to be away for two weeks, and she took her chance by kissing me after we bumped into each other at a nightclub, it was a rare night off work for me. It's now 16 years and three kids later. So it worked out well for the both for us. Dang. Drunk or just really confident? She was slightly drunk and thought what the hell, Hess leaving so if I don't go for it he'll never know. She took the gamble on the basis that had I not been into her she wouldn't have to see me again. That must be awkward for her, bumping into you every day now. I once had a girl introduce me to her friend like this, this is Tim. I have a huge crush on him, but he hasn't figured it out yet. I guess she'd gotten tired of waiting for me to figure it out, lol. Hi Tim I hope you figure out she has a huge crush on you soon. When I was in 7th grade, a boy wrote me the sweetest poem. I have it saved somewhere still. I still remember the line it'll take you to the movies, or even to the mall, even though I'm short, and even though you're tall. Mike, wherever you are, I hope you're happy and have the best woman ever. Edit, Ah, thanks everyone. Alas, we did not date, but this is because I was 12 and wasn't allowed. But I remember this poem and it's been over 30 years. I am mother to a short king myself and I hope Hess is great as Mike the poet. Kind-hearted and romantic is a winning combination by anyone's standards. So then Mike got rejected? I was pretty sure my friend's little sister had a crush on me when she started following me around like a lost puppy. Then she randomly started calling me by my first and middle name. Then she found out my birthday from someone and started telling me our age difference. It was kind of cute until she decided she should tell her friends that we were dating, we were not dating. I had a nice conversation with her letting her know that her crush was flattering, but she was way too young for me and that she needed to stop telling people that we were dating since it was not true and could get me in a lot of trouble. In true typical teenager logic, she said that her parents wouldn't have a problem with it and I could date her if I wanted to. I had a 9-year-old neighbor's daughter just randomly out of the blue tackle hug me from behind and absolutely refused to let go. Your post reminded me of that lol. Her family was over and we were all just hanging out and chatting and she was off quietly playing when I laughed at something and out of nowhere, she ran at me. Everyone else could see her but me and I didn't know what was happening until the womp and squeeze. Her mom burst out laughing. The girl was giggling and squeezing as tight as she could, burying he face into my back, she was literally half as tall as me and on her tiptoes to hang onto my waist. I had to spin around, look down to see her hands, then pry them apart and pretend to dance step her away from me, my attempt at trying not to embarrass her as I had never met her before, and to avoid getting grabbed onto again until her mom finally grabbed a hold of her. Got eyes in the back of my head now. My daughter's 11-year-old friend has had a gigantic crush on my 14-year-old son for at least 5 years. She always runs and jumps on him and wraps her arms around him and won't let go. Everyone thought it was adorable but now my son is 6 tall and she's starting to get older and suddenly her parents are worried. Im like listen, he just stands there uncomfortable as hell, has incredibly nervous around girls his own age and hates being touched, while she jumps all over him, but they're talking like Hess a predator. Just tell your daughter to stop. Hess the predator because they can't raise their daughter to act decent? That's amazing. Tip of the iceberg with these people.